wood that I've done with the pink plastic. So here we have a, a watercolor with crayon, and here, here we have some chalk. Uh, this is done entirely with marker. And then this is a cardinal that we've done with third and fourth a lot of times. And you'll notice it's a lot like the other birds, but it has a little tuft of hair and some black around, around the eyes there. So, and then this one um, has more of a narrative. We have a bird and she has a little nest. Um, and then this one also has a narrative with, with the worm and you have other friends there. So we're gonna start uh, with just some simple, very, very bare bone ways of how to draw uh, a robin. And then we're gonna talk about ways that you can make yours even better if you're an older student. So we're gonna start with the eyeball. And it's just somewhere kind of in the middle of your page. And one of the things I really wanted to talk to you about is drawing lightly. So I'm drawing a little bit darker here because I know that I don't need to erase this. But then this, we can color that in later. Whatever you have at home would be great. If you have crayons, use crayons. If you have markers, use markers. But as far as drawing it, um, the first time I would use a pencil because you can erase and that always makes everybody feel a little better. So I'm going to try to draw a little bit lighter. So that's my, my medium um, darkness. I can't draw too light because I need the camera to pick it up. So here's the upside down bowl of the head. And then I'm gonna, just going to do a sideways V. And that's the beak. And then if you want to be realistic, you can draw an opposite V to the inside and you can split that up to give it the top and bottom of the beak. Now I'm going to go from the bottom of the beak. And I'm just going to draw a little curvy line. I'm going to go from the back of the head and kind of another curvy line. Now from here we can go uh, oh, maybe a half inch underneath the beak and I can draw a little line right here. We're going to be doing a spot for the, the red or the orange actually that robins have on their tummies. So I'm going to draw a line down and then can kind of draw some wings. Let's see. Can kind of draw a, a big V kind of a feel like a big wavy V. And then from, from this point, I can draw the tail feathers. Okay, and then we can draw a few details. So I can draw kind of a, a lot of W's or V's. And then the, the next ones will get a little bit bigger. And then the next ones will be even bigger. And you can kind of start just drawing some lines. And then we're going to draw some legs. Now we've talked before about how legs are not just a straight line down. There is like if you look at, let's see, my hand, my wrist here, I have a line for the outside and a line for the outside. So each one is going to be a different pencil line. So I'm going to draw the outside of the leg and then the other outside. And then I'm going to erase this because that leg comes from the belly and that's going to help it look realistic and then another line down another line down so that's not four legs that is two legs so you have the outside outside here's something that we could do that might make that seem a little bit more easy to understand we can just give it some texture um, now i'm going to do three v's for the feet now if you're if you're more advanced you can figure out how to make it look uh, more realistic, but three V's work pretty good. So one V, two V's, three V's, okay? And that looks pretty realistic for feet. Okay, then I'm just gonna draw the branch that this Robin's sitting on. So to do that, we're gonna start at the bottom of the page. I'm just gonna go up, 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 up. And when I get to the leg, I'm going to jump, jump. You jump over those legs. I'm just gonna continue that diagonal line. And then this one doesn't, it can be a bigger branch that he's sitting on. So I don't have to do the overlapping right there. Okay, and then I can just branch this out. Now I have one completed that I wanted to show you. So here's a robin and what we've done is we've just done a, um, 
I've used my black crayon to use a darker value up here and then go lighter, lighter, lighter. Um, and then added some texture on the branch um, and then just some little berries. So if you are an older student and you wanted to add texture, more texture, the value is what really is gonna take crayons from uh, looking, it helps them look more finished. If you really press hard on the crayon um, and do your outlines and then do really, really light. I'm gonna do an example of that real quick. So if I have, if I have a branch right here, I can press really hard on this texture. So I'm making some bark texture here. Okay, I'm pressing pretty hard. And then when I go back over it, I'm just tickling the paper. I'm doing it really lightly. And then I still have the texture. I'm using the same color, a light and dark value to make it look more realistic. So I hope you have fun drawing your birds at home and look forward to hearing from you.